Hello everyone, my name is Troy and welcome to the first day of my spring break reading vlog. Just finished my coffee. I woke up at like six o'clock, which is what I normally wake up on a school day. I know I could have slept in longer, but today, special occasion, we are getting these braces off. I don't really normally show my teeth off a lot, so a lot of you guys didn't even know that I have braces, but yeah, I do. So today we're finally getting my braces off. I've had them for two years and this is a great start to my spring break. Like I've been so excited, you know, have my braces off. And also we got a lot of reading today and I'll talk about that. But yeah, um, just so, so excited. We are gonna be going in like five minutes for that. Uh, I woke up, made a coffee. It's been a great morning because I've read so much. I've read about 25 pages on both of these books that I'm reading. I'm reading The Dangerous Gift by Ty uh, T. Sutherland and I'm reading The Accord of Thorns and Roses series by Sarah J. Mass and for this break reading vlog. I'm kind of just like reading this like very periodically. I'm like reading this like 25 pages per day. This is the book that I'm like really mainly predominantly reading right now and I'm really excited to keep going because this is my second time reading the A, Cor A Court of Thorns and Roses series. Yeah, I've got to get to this appointment. I'm so excited. All right, bye guys. See ya. Hello guys, oh, I'm back from my braces appointment. It took two hours. It could have taken like five minutes because the first five seconds they just popped all of them off. It was a chill appointment. It just took so long. Like if they actually had like really been efficient with it, I could have been done in 30 minutes, but it was like a lot of waiting. All right, slight update. Uh, I just realized how messy my room is and I'll show you guys in a second. Maybe I'll pop up some footage, but yeah, my room is absolutely horrendous and I need to fix it. Oh my gosh, I can't get over these teeth. That's so weird. Anyways, yeah, I'm gonna go and clean my room, listen to an audiobook, and then start editing. I have to leave at 11.45 because I have to go back and get my retainer. I really don't want to get a retainer, but it's, it's, it's what I have to do to get these braces off. Anyways, let's get into a time lapse of cleaning and editing because my room right now, oh my gosh. I'm totally in the middle of cleaning, but it's 11.41, meaning I have to go because I was supposed to leave at 11.45. Yeah, I got a lot of cleaning done. Let's take a look. Look at this. I even hung some stuff up there. We've got my bookshelf. Bam, bam, bam. Still working on the bed, and the desk is looking a lot clearer. And if you guys were wondering, my desk totally collapsed if you can kind of see that so we're ordering a new desk basically i have to get my retainer once the braces are off the teeth are going to start naturally moving back so i have to kind of force them into place with the retainer and then we're gonna go see one of my friends that i've been seeing for like for the entire pandemic basically we only have like one in 500 people in our county that has the virus so it's definitely been a lot more safer but yeah i'm gonna go mask up and i'm gonna go leave and we're gonna have lunch i'll definitely keep you guys updated but Hello guys, welcome to my garbage can area. It's day two. Sorry I didn't vlog really much like towards the second half of the day because I didn't really do anything. Like I said, I got my retainer. It's like a little plastic thing around my tooth, like a clear, so you can't really see it, but I have it in right now. Then I went to lunch for a few hours uh, and then I came home. I did nothing. I read a little bit last night, but nothing too much to kind of talk about. But yesterday was unproductive, but today was actually very productive because it is only 10, 15 and I've already 
took a shower, ate breakfast. I've listened to an hour of my audiobook too, so I've gotten a lot of reading done today. I'm already 60%, I don't know if y'all can see that, but I'm 60% through Space Case by Stuart Gibbs. I'll pop it up on screen right here, but mm, I'm loving Space Case by Stuart Gibbs. It is just something that I could like listen to in one shot. Like I'm sure I could just keep listening to it. This book is about like this group of families like on this like uh, space program, this moon base, and it's called like the Moon Base Alpha series. And there's this like murder that happens where it looks like it was an accident. Someone just did not put on their suit. But this doctor had this like really interesting discovery. Our main character was in this bathroom when he overheard a conversation with this doctor having this this great discovery so he's like hmm it makes no sense that be right before he's gonna make this special announcement with this great discovery he goes out and gets killed by accidentally putting his suit on wrong it just didn't look great and when he further investigates there's more and more evidence that leads to him being murdered and so this is just really a great book for a middle grade it's like humorous it's a mix of humorous kind of like dark with the murder and like a really good sense of mystery i just absolutely love stuart gibbs because of just the exciting mystery content and it's really good and i'm 60 percent through it's not that long it's just like a fun kind of cool novel that's just wondrously written so yeah now i'm going to be going and i'm going to be doing a productive day like i said i want to schedule out some of my videos that are going out this week i have to do the video that's going out today i want to also do my video that's going out on wednesday just because i want to get all my spring break videos done so i don't have to do them during the week let's get into an ending time lapse let's go baby let's go Alrighty guys, it is 1 p.m. That time lapse was only about 30 minutes, but after the time lapse, I finished editing my video, I ate lunch, I have it completely scheduled as I just showed you, 1.30 p.m. and I've already got a video done, so I'm proud of that. Now I want to get started on one more video. I want to talk to you guys about uh, how Space Case went, but I finished it, which is another big milestone of the day because I started the day at like 10%. It's been already like half the day and I've already read the whole book, so I'm super proud of that. It's my first book read for the spring break so that's super cool this was honestly one of the best books that i've read by stuart gibbs it just hit different you know like i just really loved the characters i loved like the almost humorous aspect to the book and just like the sci-fi aspect i really enjoyed and i thought was really intriguing just how like the author put a futuristic twist on it where it's like they're all in this space like base station and then there's like this one person that dies and then there's you like know that one person in that whole space station was the murderer so it's like constant like oh maybe this person did it maybe this person did it and stuart gibbs really fleshed out multiple suspects throughout the, the whole like book uh he really explored people's motives so there were so many people that like did not like the guy that was murdered and so there's so many different suspects and it made for a really interesting read ending with all like the, everything that got revealed was so like really really cool and like because it didn't just reveal the murder but it revealed like what that interesting discovery was and then there was like almost like a double reveal so it was really cool i don't know that's all i'm gonna say it's just like if you're interested in middle grade and mystery, like it's the perfect, perfect book for you. Or like any Stuart Gibbs books are really. I'm going to go film my second video, I'll try to go edit that. I might not finish the full video and have it like up in YouTube. We're gonna do, we're gonna try my hardest. Woo woo, yeah yeah. So, off the lighting, but I did finish my video. It's basically like a spring book tag that's going on Wednesday. Let me transition, because I know some people leave when I don't, when I talk in one place for a long time. Maybe I'll set this down there. But now I'm going to be going to my friend's house. You guys may know him. I, oh, that was not a good idea. Oh my gosh, sorry. I realized that there's a tripod under my bed. That's interesting. Anyways, yeah, I'm going to be going and 
Uh, we have a member-only Zoom call with our channel members for the KOGC fan base, which is another channel that I co-founded. Yeah, we have some paid members on there, so we're going to go do a Zoom call with them. I'm going to bring you guys there. I've actually been really busy this spring break, and I've been able to see friends, so that's really, really great, because as soon as I got out of spring break last year, shut down. On the way home, on the way home from the plane, we were told that we would not be going to school. Anyways, let's just go. Alrighty guys, I don't know, I recorded some weird things, but we are going on to the Zoom call right now. I've got my computer. Yeah, you guys can see that. Okay, and I have to log in to the meeting. He sent me the link. I'll type in this long code. Uh, 746 Oh, it says the meeting ID is not valid. Oh my gosh. Oh, I messed it up. Okay, one second. 3687. OCZ4P. Okay, joining now. We're connecting to... The KO TLC fan base. Why is it not focusing? All right, Joey's letting me in. Hopefully. So yeah, we're gonna. I'm just gonna tell him off the Zoom call. Basically, we're just gonna talk to our members, have a Kahoot thing, and it's gonna be super cool. Joey, stop talking. I'm talking to my camera. <laughs> okay. Anyways, yeah, we're gonna go. My autofocus wasn't working for a second. Blah, 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 blah. My autofocus wasn't working for a second, but welcome to day three of this reading vlog. Uh-oh. My dad started making a smoothie and it's blending right now. And today is called I woke up at 7.15, but then realized it was daylight savings time and it was 8.15. And so I woke up at a very bad start. I was like, oh no, because I lost a whole hour of the day. And so right now it's 12.30. I wish, I really wish it was 11.30, but you know what? It's fine. Yesterday I had the Zoom call. I didn't really do anything after that. Uh, I read a few pages from Akatar, but I'm just not really been having too much time to just sit down and read like a physical books recently, just because I'm trying to get all my videos done, like I said, in these first few days of break and this is hopefully my last day of video work and then the rest of the spring break I'm just gonna be reading and stuff so that's super cool and definitely got something exciting going on tomorrow super cool so yeah I'm excited today I woke up and again I started working on videos and I'm still gonna be working on videos for the next few hours and then I'll be done I did finish the next book in the space case series which is called spaced out it's actually not that bad it was pretty much equivalent to the first book in just like the level of writing and the level of skill which I like like with with Stuart Gibbs, you can expect a level of consistency with each book, but it was just a little bit less intriguing than the first book because there wasn't like any murder or something. It was just about a missing person, but it all really came together well. I feel like, again, there's a double mystery and then the ending, it really shocked me. It left me on a good cliffhanger, so I'm excited to go into the third book, which actually just came to me today via Libby, so I'm excited to read that. And I've finished two books in this vlog already in the three days that it's been. So, you know, let's, let's hype that up. I'm gonna go film some stuff and then get everything ready hopefully and it'll be all good so yeah see you guys peace alrighty y'all it is 3 30 and I am done with all the video work I need to do this week Go. I've done the bulk work of it and now I can be free for the rest of spring break super super excited for that all right, I'm gonna sit down in the chair. Uh, my chair moves around throughout the day. My parents and my siblings are all gone. It's like been the first time since I've been home alone since like last year and that's kind of crazy like I have never I've never felt those feelings of like being scared of being home alone until today so it's been a while like every little noise in the house makes me go crazy because I feel like someone else is in the house so yeah they're all at like my brother's soccer game right now and I'm gonna use the piece and I'm gonna use that to take a bath and probably read a little bit maybe binge some YouTube and Netflix and I'll take you guys along that with me but yeah let's go start a bath and let's do some self-care stuff.
Hello friends, it is a couple hours later and I've just been reading and watching Netflix and YouTube, like just kind of going on and off. And I read about a uh, hundred pages actually with the Court of Thorns and Roses. I'm on page 345 and there are approximately 60 to 70 pages left in this book. So I'm going to spend the last hour-ish of my day finishing a court of thorns and roses it's been so refreshing to be in this world again and it's finally getting spicy it's hard to talk my retainer <laughs> it's it's spicy <laughs> my kidding is okay should i take them out okay no we're just gonna struggle to talk <laughs> oh my gosh also my hair looks like a mess i'm sorry but yeah it's been really refreshing to be back in this world and i'm so excited to be getting into the books two and three because it just gets better and better as we kind of explore the world more and more so yeah i'm really excited to get into this last portion though because it's just super epic i'm struggling to talk anyways yeah i'll let you guys know we'll do like a time lapse maybe i don't know we'll see anyways yeah Hello guys, it is day four, listening to an audiobook, got my coffee, mmm, yes, I'm drinking it out of like a weird straw, it is 7.35, um, I finished A Court of Thorns and Roses last night, I made a lot of other reading progress, and it's gonna be great, but I, I have to wait to talk to you guys about it, because I'm leaving in five minutes for my first ever driving class, I'm doing, I'm gonna be driving for the first time ever. We're gonna be going around. I hope I hope it's not anything too serious, but I'll definitely talk to you guys. And that was like a special thing that I was talking about yesterday. Also, my retainer, it is so hard to talk with it on. I need to start just taking it off before I do my montage or my vlog updates. But yeah, um, I'll be leaving in a few minutes to go on my first driving class and it's gonna be super cool. I'm really nervous to drive. Hopefully we don't go like on any highways or anything and we're just going around a parking lot. But I think I'll, I think I'll do good. I'll let you guys know how it goes, but I'm nervy. I'm nervy. <laughs> Oops, I'm not doing a thumb. Okay, I was taking my thumbnail and I thought, why not just leave the camera on the stand so I don't have to like do a whole new setting. But yeah, I just recorded my last video of the spring break. All I have to do is send that video to my brother to edit because I was like, hey, I don't feel like editing. So that's gonna be it. But okay, guys, I got home from my first ever time driving. I made a few mistakes. Yes, I did, but that was his fault because he was like, I'm not a parking lot instructor we're gonna go on the road and within like 10 minutes i was on the road and it was okay like uh, i just don't like driving in general like it's it wasn't as bad as i thought and it wasn't as anxiety as i thought but like the whole time i need to pee it was just kind of exhausting and miserable like why would someone want to drive around for two hours it was whatever but now it's 10 54 i'm probably gonna make a smoothie and just listen to the remainder of my audiobook because I have less than 90 minutes left which I'll tell you guys about it after I finish but yeah so it's like behind the wheel and I have that tomorrow and Wednesday so two more days of that and then I think I'm done with all the instructing stuff and I can just start getting my, my permit and my license <laughs> bye guys
Alrighty guys, so I just finished uh, Waste of Space, which is the third book in the uh, Moonbase Alpha series. I just finished the series in three days. Th the series was so bingeable and so enjoyable, so I really enjoyed it. There was definitely not like any quality decrease as the series went on. Like it was all just really fun. The epilogue, the writing style, it was really good because of how futuristic it was. I loved the third book, uh, probably better than the second book a little bit because there was just a lot more action, a lot more kind of mystery and like panic setting in so I really really enjoyed it and I also wanted to talk about A Court of Thorns and Roses. I finished it yesterday night. It was really good as well. I just love the ending of this book. It tops. It's just so fun, actionable. It really has the Beauty and the Beast kind of feel to it and just, there's a lot of action as well in here so now I am going to be starting on my new audiobook. Oh it's called The Young Elites by um, Mary Lou. I'm going to be starting on that trilogy and then I'm also starting on A Court of Mist and Fury. I'm also also reading that dragon book also going to be starting another Stuart Gibbs series via ebook so definitely got a lot a lot of stuff going on and it's working out love reading like a different variety of books and different styles and formats Okay, so it is the morning of day six, which means I did not vlog any on day five, and that's okay because I really did not do anything reading-wise. Like, I did my driver's ed class that morning, which went really well, went much better than the first day. Then I went out to lunch with my brother and my mom. Then we did some family activities at home, and then I just watched some Netflix and YouTube. That was pretty much my day, and it was pretty awesome. But I want to con quickly conclude my vlog. I am going, getting ready to go to driver's ed for day six, and this is the part one of the vlog, so so you guys will see the other part of my spring break the last five days. Um, I am on page 160 of A Court of Mist and Fury, not as much as I want it to be right now, and I don't think I'm gonna get into Games of Thrones this spring break because A Court of Thorns and Roses series is actually going much slower than I thought it would. I thought it would be like a kind of like a breeze. I mean, it's okay. I'm liking it, so I'm I'm liking the slower feel to it. The newest book in the Wings of Fire series, I am 225 out of 315, so I've got like less than 100 pages left on that. And then in terms of audiobooks, I'm reading The Young Elites. I'm 25% through that. It's going okay. We'll have to see. I'll have to continue reading and tell you guys what I think. And then I'm also reading Belly Up, which is an ebook. So I'm reading two physical books, an audiobook, an ebook, and it's going really well. I'm, I'm getting a lot of books done on my physical book TBR. I'm kind of lacking, but like I'm definitely doing well on the audiobook and the ebook side. So that's kind of my last update, and I will see you guys soon my mom just texted me that i have to go but yeah um, make sure to leave a like on this, on this vlog if you enjoyed it subscribe down below and i will catch you guys next time for the next part of the vlog comment down below subscribe all that and yeah i'll see ya she's a mona lisa everyone's lining up to see her there must be something bad features you'll find the beauty goes much deeper once you get to meet her